Today I'll be covering the eyedropper tool in Affinity Designer as well as the style panel. For people that have used the eyedropper tool in other graphics programs, um, the eyedropper tool may not work the way that you expect. Um, so uh, in other graphics applications you may notice that the eyedropper tool will allow you to not only pick a fill color but a stroke color and the stroke style. Uh, in Affinity Designer the eyedropper tool is strictly for picking a color. So if I pick this um, yellow object on my drawing or on my artwork and then click on the fill color you can see the eyedropper tool in the upper right hand corner of the pane that shows up. Um, clicking on it doesn't um, turn it into the eyedropper icon. It applies the color that's in that little color chip to the right of it. Uh, so let's undo this. Uh, instead if I want to pick up that color, again, you'd select your object, you'd click on your fill chip, and that would show you what color is currently applied. And then you would grab, click, and hold on the eyedropper tool and drag over any color in the artwork. And that's the color that will be picked up into the color chip. And then to apply that color, whoops, you would actually, let's see here, let's try that again, drag pick your color and then you would click on the color chip and that will actually apply the color. So let's go ahead and um, pick up this color from the wedge and now let's apply it and there you go. Um, now if you wanted to actually pick up more than just the color what you would do is any any object uh, that you select you would edit its fill color <coughs> you would edit its stroke color you can even edit its uh, stroke style including the pressure and then once you have that set those three items you would right click on the object and you can create a style and this is where the styles pane comes in so now that we've created this style and we can rename it. Oops. Now that we've created a style that includes those three attributes, we can select other objects and apply that style. And that again works similar to what the eyedropper tool uh, behaves like in other graphics applications. We'll go ahead and apply it over here. And there you go. Uh, if you have suggestions for other tutorials, uh, please feel free to leave a comment uh, below.